Today, we will discuss the effect of sympathomimetic drugs on cardiovascular system. First of all, we will discuss norepinephrine. Norepinephrine acts on both alpha and beta receptors. However, it has more selectivity for beta-1 receptors as compared to beta-2. The cardiovascular effects are mainly because of its action on alpha-1 and beta-1 receptors. These straight two lines represent the blood pressure and heart rate. As norepinephrine acts on alpha-1 receptors, it causes strong vasoconstriction, so it will shoot up the blood pressure. Norepinephrine also has beta-1 action. So, it would initially cause an increase in heart rate, but eventually, because of alpha-1 action, which causes an increase in blood pressure, it will stimulate the baroreceptor reflex. So, it will cause reflex decrease in heart rate, which is also called as reflex bradycardia. Net effect of norepinephrine is increase in blood pressure and reflex bradycardia. Now, if we change the situation by giving an anti-muscarinic or ganglionic blocker drug, these drugs will not allow baroreceptor reflex to occur. So, the heart rate will remain increased in such situation. Now, we will discuss the action of epinephrine on cardiovascular system. Epinephrine has equal receptor selectivity for alpha-1, alpha-2, beta-1, and beta-2 receptors. Epinephrine will act on alpha-1 receptors. Again, it will cause strong vasoconstriction. So, we will see rise in systolic blood pressure. But as epinephrine also acts on beta-2 receptors which are present on blood vessels going towards skeletal muscle. And as you know, upon activation of beta-2 receptors, there will be vasodilation. So peripheral vascular resistance will decrease and there will be slight reduction in diastolic blood pressure. The net effect on blood pressure is because of alpha-1 receptors which are dominating on the blood vessels and it will cause increase in the blood pressure. Now let's discuss phenylephrine which is a pure alpha agonist and it will act on only alpha receptors. So phenylephrine will act on alpha-1 receptors. Again, it causes vasoconstriction which will increase the peripheral vascular resistance and causes an increase in the blood pressure. As it has no action on beta receptors, so there will be no increase in heart rate. But because of alpha-1 stimulation, it will activate the baroreceptor reflex and cause reflex bradycardia. Now let's discuss isoproteranol, which is a pure beta agonist. Isoproteranol will act on beta-2 receptors, which are present on the blood vessels. As beta-2 receptors causes vasodilation, so there will be decrease in peripheral vascular resistance and blood pressure will decrease. Isoproteranol will also act on beta-1 receptors, which are present on the heart. And as a stimulation of beta-1 receptors present on the heart, it will lead to increase in the heart rate. So these were the effect of sympathomimetic drugs on cardiovascular system.